Hi guys, welcome back. Right, today it's the Alien build. Um, I'm quite disappointed with this one, but due to time constraints and everything else, we didn't actually, well, I didn't actually film that much, but we did take a half a ton of pictures. So um, what I'm doing is a voiceover through the, intact, um, the build the process. Um, it's turned out awesome and I'm quite disappointed actually. I didn't actually do a, um, a lot of videos on it, but because of the it build that I was doing and um, the alien build had to get, both of them had to get done by Halloween. Um, it was a bit of a, a, a push trying to film everything because I was doing other bits at the same time. And when you've got a house full of family and everything, it's hard to just get quiet and <laughs> just film stuff. So, um, Hope you guys will be satisfied with um, what I've got for you. Um, this one was uh, part of a build off between me and Lee's Creature Features. Um, I won. Yeah, hashtag Team Steve rocks. Um, so yeah, if you wanna go and have a look at Lee's one, it's um, on his channel. Um, I'll post a link down to his channel um, in the description, but um, Let's just get on with it. Boop. Hi guys, right, welcome back. Um, this is the alien build. Obviously you can see, I do my usual and filled it all full of polystyrene. With this, the centre bit, I actually built um, a built-in LED light system so i fitted a light box at the top um then it's uh obviously carved out with um expanding foam and um added into the polystyrene to fill up all the gaps this took a bit of time i tried to give it sort of ridges around but you can see i wanted it sort of a really sort of cave um aspect to this so you was looking into it at like a cave. It's the first time I've done something like this and I think it was quite effective. Um, certainly challenging um, grouting and etc. afterwards, but I think the end result sort of uh, come through. When you start adding the grout, see it starts sort of taking place a bit. All that top bit that goes across, that's where the built-in light box is. But yeah, when you grow out, you just got to try and cover everything, which took a fair amount of time, I'll tell you that. And they've got obviously the alien egg, which was uh, 3D printed. I thought that would make a good sort of starting point. And there's a, for a webbing, because the green bottle blue is going in now. And obviously the, um, egg itself is just plain black so we had to prime that first before we hand painted it the alien figure was a necker figure all right then we uh sprayed it all black as a base coat making sure we masked up the alien and the light box up the top and any other bits that we didn't want spraying all right just primed the uh, the egg. I done a, a um, base coat of a uh, grey primer, then sprayed the uh, the outside black. But as you can see, it's starting to take shape and give it that really eerie, dark cave look that I was after. Next thing, once I got all that done, was to start painting the egg. Now a lot of this was uh, done by hand, dry brushing it. I used um, white hot melt glue for all the slime and then hand painted all the middle bit. And then we started bringing everything together. Now I had a bit of trouble with this one, loads of problems, the glass door broke loads of stuff i never thought this one was going to get done but as you can see the end result is absolutely probably one of my best really really love this enclosure and i cannot wait until the 
Green Bottle Blue in there actually gets going and starts doing something. She's being a bit slow at the minute. Obviously, with the substrate, I added um, Spider Life, which is a um, really dark colour, which I don't usually use, but because the Green Bottle Blue webs over it, you won't actually it, it be fine for the Green Bottle Blue because they like a nice arid, arid, um, arid sort of environment. But there you go, that's the lights on. They're all quite hidden up inside the light box, but um, full remote control, so we can um, change any light colour, but I think it's, it's just turned out really, really well. Obviously, the lights can change to any single colour. I only usually use put them on for display, but there you go, guys. There we go, guys. All set in its pace. See the display spider wall. You can see it up there. It's the green bottle blue. So hopefully it'll all start webbing here. What I'll do is a web update as soon as she starts going. But yes, really pleased with how this turned out. Hi oh, guys, right, thanks for watching. I'm very sorry that there wasn't um, as much video, well, when any video that I would have um, really liked to add into there, but um, I think you got the gist of that one. Um, thank you for Lee um, as well. We, we had a real good fun with this, and thank you to all the team Steve that actually voted and sent in the videos, um, the funny videos. Uh, if you have a look down in my videos, it's like Team Steve or something, Lee. Um, but there were, yeah, there were some real cool YouTubers and stuff that um, added some um, comments and we bunked them all in a video and that was really fun. Um, the build up to that competition was um, immense. Everybody sort of uh, got involved and it was a great lot of fun. Um, I've got the next one coming up with Stone Circle Tarantulas. I think that's in the new year. Um, once we get Christmas out of the way and everything, we'll um, sort out deadlines and everything for that. Um, also, the theme needs to be chosen. So if you go to that page on Instagram, um, mail, mail him with your theme ideas and uh, we'll go from there. Right, apart from that, as usual, thumbs it up, comment down below, like, subscribe, ring the bell, doo -doo -doo, and I'll see you later. Thank you.